Welcome to the mid-2017 13-inch touch bar ticket bar guide. First remove the six pentelope screws from the bottom pan. There are two clips on each side of the bottom pan that have to be unsnapped. Use your flat tool to pry up the bottom pan gently to unsnap them. Once the clips are unsnapped, you can then slide the bottom pan away from the hinge and then lift it up and out. Before you begin working on the logic board, you will want to unplug the battery. Use some tweezers to disconnect the flex cable located here. Then use a T4 screwdriver to remove the screw holding down the battery. And then bend back the flex cable for the battery away from the board. Next, remove the T4 screws holding down the display cable. and then unplug the cable. Next, remove the T4 screws holding down the hinge covers. The next step is to unplug all the cables from the logic board. Remove the T4 screws holding down the cable shields. And then carefully unplug all of the cables.
Now carefully unplug the Wi-Fi antennas. Next, remove all of the screws holding down the logic board. There are a combination of T5 and T4 screws holding down the board. Once all the cables have been unplugged and all the screws have been removed, then the board can lift up and out. Next to remove the fans. You will need to use a set of tweezers to unplug the cables. and then remove the T4 screws holding on the fan. Once the screws have been removed, the fan will come right out. Now to remove the touch controller for the touch bar. Gently lift up on the cable to separate it from the top case. And then remove the penelope screw holding down the board. Then gently pry the rest of the cable off of the top case. Now to remove the USB-C I.O. boards. Remove the two T4 screws from each board and it will come out. Next, remove the two T4 screws from the audio board. and then gently pry the audio board up and out. Next, remove all of the penelope screws from the Wi-Fi antenna. and then remove the T4 and T5 screws from the display controller board.
Next, remove the Wi-Fi antenna. Next, remove two of the T8 screws from each hinge. Now with one screw left in each hinge, open the display. With the display open, remove the last screw from each hinge. The display can now easily be removed. Now to remove your power button and fingerprint scanner. Remove the T4 screws located here, which is the bottom of the button. Now carefully guide the cable through the top case and the button will be loose.